And uh, Cajun News Talk time here in San Francisco is 1.36. So, folks, you see, we really have uh, some major problems, not just here in the United States, but um, all over the world. So whatever you feel we need to be thinking about, you're certainly invited to give a call. Uh, Douglas in Berkeley, you're on KGO with Ray Taliaferro. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Taliaferro. I was calling after listening to your comparison of George Bush to Adolf Hitler. And I would like to ask that you step down from your post as host of KGO. Is that all you have to say? Well, I'd like to know specifically, when you make that comparison, what specific criteria do you use? Um, Do you know the actions of Hitler? Yes, Hitler was responsible for killing hundreds of thousands of Jews. Bush has killed a couple, maybe a couple thousand, two, three thousand people that wore turbans. Uh, Try a couple hundred thousand. Uh, That number is greatly exaggerated. It is not greatly exaggerated. Where do you get your numbers from? Um, I get it from uh, the... Uh, from the United Nations, I get it from uh, the um, International Human Rights Commission. I get it from uh, people who have been working from the United States and Europe uh, doing the count as best they can, because as you know, little uh, Adolf Bush uh, decided uh, that in order to get away with his lies and his murder in Iraq, that he would not report how many people he has killed. So therefore, the uh, in fact, he even threatened the doctors and, nur- and nurses, as as you must know. Um, well, I'm in, looking at the United. Wait States a minute. Website, wait a minute, Douglas. Do wait a minute, numbers. Douglas. Wait a minute, Douglas. You ask me a question. I intend to hold a discussion with you if you've got the brain power to do it. If yes. you don't, then you hang up. Okay. Yes. Sir. Well, I'm going to discuss this with you. Uh, and um, the, the the fact of the matter is, is that the, the Bush early on. Uh, through Rumsfeld, threatened, and this was all all news. I've been following this ever since Bush has been in office, ever since they decided to go to war in Iraq on lies, uh, just like, uh, and have a preemptive strike right out of Hitler's book. Um, Hitler said, uh, I, I want to wipe out Czechoslovakia on a preemptive basis. The Czechs hadn't attacked uh, Hitler. Uh, the Iraqis hadn't attacked Bush. But Bush read uh, uh, Hitler's uh, playbook and followed it to a T. And one of the things that he decided to do was, number one, not to give an accurate account of the number of Americans killed in Iraq, uh, his soldiers and, and, and the like. And he certainly threatened the doctors and the nurses in the medical facilities throughout all of Iraq not to report the number of dead Iraqis. And when Rumsfeld was challenged uh, in the Pentagon through several of the press conferences there uh, by ABC, that's my company, sir, my network, uh, our correspondents on several occasions said, how many Iraqis have uh, died because of this? this invasion of yours based on lies. And he responded, uh, well, um, uh, President Bush says that it's not our job uh, to keep a body count, so we don't. Mr. Taliaferro, I am looking at the United Nations website, and there is no reference of the number of people killed. Yes, sir. You said that you got your information from the yes, United sir. Nations. Yes, sir. And the last time they... the. Uh, the International Human Rights uh, Commission uh, issued their report. It was, uh, and this was, oh, about a year ago, it was 138,000. Do you support the Taliban? I, I do not, sir. Because after listening to you, I would, I, I would have to say, based on everything I've heard from you, that not only are you not American, but that you support the Taliban. Why am I not an American simply because I don't want Bush to act like Hitler and to take my country into war and your relatives and my relatives sent over there on lies? How is that un-American, sir? Let me ask you a question. Can I explain how it is un-American? Yes. Uh, how, how is it un-American for me to oppose a war imposed by Bush based on lies? Yes, sir. Please tell me. How is that un-American? Five years ago, the Twin Towers were destroyed. We have not been attacked on our soil in five years. 
Bush has done a great job of protecting the American citizens, yet you continue, you continue on this diatribe to tear the man down, which to me is very un-American. Well, well, then you and I would just have to disagree on that. Uh, well, the overwhelming majority of Americans, by the way, agree with me. They don't agree with you, Douglas. They are opposed to this war in Iraq on the same ground. So that means the overwhelming majority of, Amer of Americans are un-American as, as, as far weak. as you are concerned. And also, uh, Douglas, uh, uh, let, let, let me ask you something here. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you're, you're saying uh, that... Um, uh, on uh, George Bush's watch over the last five years, uh, there hasn't been an attack. I remind you that on George Bush's watch, uh, we indeed had an anthrax attack um, that killed a number of Americans, and with the uh, the attack was made with the thought that it would not only kill the leadership of the Democratic Senate that was in the majority at the time of the attack, uh, but it was also to get rid of a liberal anchor person, Tom Brokaw, they called him a liberal, in uh, in New York. So they sent this uh, killing anthrax to um, Tom Brokaw's NBC studios. That's my sister network. We're ABC. They're NBC. And, and, and wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish my point. Sure. Because I'll, I'll keep you on as long as it takes, because I love talking to fools. And uh, uh, when, when, we, when we see that happening... And by the way, that happened on George Bush's watch. Also, let me tell you something else that happened on George Bush's watch. On September the 11th, 2001, nine months after George Bush got into office, sir, the biggest attack on America occurred on his watch. Even bigger, and the toll was higher, as you know, sir, than the uh, business on Pearl Harbor in 1941. And so for you to say on George Bush's watch, uh, there haven't been any more, how many more do you need than the ones we've had? You idiot! Well, now, wait a minute, Mr. Taliaferro. I've treated you with respect. And I've treated you with respect. An idiot is as, as wonderful a comment as, as I can make about your level of intelligence. If Clinton would have done his job, 9-11 would have never happened. Is that all you have to say? Absolutely. Well, okay. I thought you were going to make a case as to why well, no, Bush. I have one more. Well, I I thought. Comments, wait, wait, Douglas. Well, wait, wait. Just don't don't butt in. I said I'm gonna keep you on as long as it takes. I'm on for four hours, so that's that. You know, and we've only been <laughs> and we've only been on for about uh, six minutes. Yes, sir. And so, uh, Douglas, you were going to make the case that Bush is not like Hitler, and you haven't made that case. Okay, may I, may I be permitted to make the case? Sure. The problem is is that there are way too many left-wing wackos in America. I thought you were going to make the case, and, and, and I appreciate the fact that you're lost for words, even though you called to ask me to step down as a talk show host because I had the temerity and the accuracy uh, to compare George Bush to Hitler. Okay. And, and, and then you were going to make the case. Yes, I and I gave case. you a chance to get... No, I'm, I'm through with you. Oh. Because I, I asked you to make the case, and you said, I'm going to make the case. And all you said, well, there are too many left-wing wackos in America. How does that make the case that Bush is not like Hitler? Because Adolf Hitler was responsible for the death of hundreds of thousands... No, wait, you already said that. And so what has Bush. So has Bush. That is incorrect. So has Bush been I am responsible. I'm looking at the United Nations website, and there is nothing about hundreds of thousands of people dying. Sir, do your research. Them. Look it up. You, you can Google I'm it, sir. It. I'm looking sir, at it. Sir, you can Google. You are distorting the truth. Sir, sir, it. oh, oh, so, so Bush, well, wait, wait. So, so what, what you're saying is that the difference between Bush and Hitler is that they were both uh, illegal murderers. It's just that Hitler murdered more than Bush. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying Bush is a man of God. Oh, Jesus. You're, you're kidding. No, my name's not Jesus. No. Oh, Jesus. God. What, you're saying Bush is a man of God? What God, sir? The God that you've chosen not to follow. What God? For reason. What God, sir? The God that many people choose not to follow, which is why what God. I'm, I'm asking you a question. What God is is, is Bush the man of? What the God? The creator of the world. 
What what God was that? The creator of the world. It's in the Bible. What God? Oh, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. You believe in the God of the Bible? Yes. And uh, is your God in the Bible a peace-loving person? Absolutely. Why did God kill so many people in the Bible? Why did God kill so many people? Yeah. God didn't kill anybody. People chose to stray from God, and that's when problems arise. No, wait a minute. But who brought on the problem? People. Well, uh, well, well how, how did people create the flood? Because people have... How, no, no, wait, wait a minute. How did people create the flood? Even if people were committing some sin, uh, uh, where that's was the faucet? The was where was the faucet that turned on the flood that that's killed why the God's flood people? Was created because people oh, who created? Oh, God. well, well, uh, uh, Douglas, who created the flood? God created. Whoa! The flood. Oh, okay, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I made my case. Uh, then Mr. God, Pharaoh, then, then God, then, uh, the, wait, God. wait a minute, wait a minute. How many people did God kill with the flood? Well, uh, that's, I, that's, I, I have no idea. Oh, I thought you read the Bible. I do read the Bible. And you have no idea. Did he, did he kill ten people? Well, the Bible shouldn't necessarily be taken. Now, wait, whoa, whoa, now, you see, I, I am so glad you're my first caller. Because you are the kind of arrogant little turd that we have in the United you States of America. What I have to say? Uh, that, well, what do you mean? You're, you're what do you mean? Have, have to say? I, I, I just. You're an atheist. No, I am not an atheist at all. Of course you are. I no, no, I am not. I am not an atheist. Absolutely, you make fun of people that believe in God. No, I don't. I make fun of people like you who believe that a God is out there. Can I ask uh, you a uh, Wait a minute. No, you make fun of God when you say that Bush is a man of God. Can I ask you a question? Y well, don't you think you make fun of God when you say that Bush is a man of God? Can I ask you a question? Are you going to answer that one? I'm sorry. Ask the question again. Bye-bye. Mm. You know, I've got to get... Uh, Catherine, will you please do me a favor? On my audio... Would you please get a toilet flushing as soon as you can find that sound? Because there are callers who call in, and when I get through stripping them down before they can grab the tissue and try to move out of the way, I want to pull that lever. Please get me the flushing sound. Douglas has um, uh, added to my program. Oh, what a turd.